play the first game of the day of day two of this awesome awesome event it's gonna be volley from vietnam against keeper from cambodia remember best of one so anything can happen it's gonna be an interesting game yeah and if you lose here you are pretty much you're out, out of the tournament right so you're not you're not cannot, pretty much you're I out mean, <laughs> we joked about it we're like oh yeah you know guys have a good game but the stakes are high twenty thousand dollars at stake if you lose here you go from possible first to seventh eighth yeah, I mean, of course, there's a whole bracket to play about, but yes, there you go. We're going into game Miss Young on that, you know, sort of his signature champion. At this point, it's his Yasuo. Yeah, everyone's picking what they are pretty good at. Let's see, really aggressive warding. Now, actually, something that we didn't really touch on in, you know, yesterday's game is how the ward is being utilized. Yeah, the warding here is a bit more. Um, based on dragging dragging and dropping and aiming. So like the way she, you can see Bellona is aiming her words right now. When you click it, there's a sort of uh, warning AOE around you, you just drag and drop it. Mm -hmm. um, one of the suggestions I had actually during close beta was to default a ward into a brush and then adjust it to a, a brush anywhere around you. But uh, that being said, a bit of traits coming out here in the bot lane or the dragon lane rather. Oh, Ignite being used really, really on by T26 Haha on that Ari. I think just was a shove the wave. He, mm -hmm. he knows he has the advantage because, yeah, so early levels before he unlocks that last breath, which, you know, just to let everyone know, in the mobile game on Wild Rift, you unlock your ultimate on level 5 instead of level 6 traditionally. So you actually hit your power spike so much earlier. Yeah, the setup for level 6s is, is a lot more important on mages because their they're ults make such a big difference when it comes to, you know, fighting and you can see aggressively pushing in right now uses Ooh. the Steel Tempest to knock up the Ari getting charged back in though it's a flash being forced out and uh, the mid lane Yasuo with the aggression paying off early on I would say that's actually a pretty good trade overall but the thing is that remember Ari used her Ignite a little bit earlier on in mm -hmm. that team fight or in that small little skirmish so there was no killing potential but I think at the end of the day it's 50-50 T26 is going to be able to heal up because of the hunting fruit as well now the main thing we should look out for is actually the jungler's path thing because the, the junglers are the ones that's going to make this game just completely topsy-turvy yeah right now the solo lane Master Yi is doing decently well but it's the jungle Lee Sin that might just look to move to mid lane. But it's just actually showing, I think it's helping trying to clear out the wave. You can see the magnetic coming out from Chia Gaming. This is, actually Gonna... isn't a jungle master, it's a, it's a solo yeah, lane it's master a, from the Baron lane. Yeah. Yep, it's the, it's the uh, Xin Zhao jungle. Mm -hmm. And I think he, he feels pretty confident. He knows that, hey, Akali can't really kill me. I'm just going to pop the Meditate, if anything. So he really has to heal if you see in the summoner spell. So yep. he just, his goal is to farm and stay alive, basically. Level 5 is going to be hit here from the Akali in this wave. So they have to respect it. They have to respect the damage coming in by instantly going in for the kill. It's going to be the Ash that dies first. First Blood picked up by Team Volley in the first game of today. Once again, it's the Lee Sin that makes the difference. It's that jungle that's so important in the early game. Once you get that first rotation off, you just unlock so much rotational uh, opportunities. But, oh, here comes the mid lane. They might want to go for this. T26 comes from the charm. It lands on the Yasuo, but a little bit split on the focus. Brazil going for the team fight here. They need to be careful. He does pull up the wind wall, so he'll a little bit of protection. But does he have the knockup? No, it's the answer. He's waiting for it. The knockup comes in. We go for the Zinzao. Yes, it is. It's a smooth, smooth shot. And the Lee Sin comes in from the tag team. That's a two for exchange and see Xiao he's like whoa that's a little bit too close for comfort the synergy right there between the mid lane and the jungle just goes to show when we talk to the teams they feel so comfortable they have each other's backs and they really when they're playing like this there is no reason to fear any other team it's just so clean in terms of execution yep you could see the communication is there right you can see Xiao he knew that the ultimate you know was they didn't have any kick anymore. You know, Dragon Rage wasn't available. So there was no knockup. He had to rely on his own Steel Tempest. Waits for the cooldown, pops it up, and then waits the last possible second to extend the airborne of that uh, of the Zizhao and finally kill him off. Jumping in again, and so I'm looking for another Steel Tempest, and T26 is getting pressured out very heavily here. Oh. Meanwhile, kill on the Dragon Lane. They found. The Blitzcrank down on the Lee Sin, oh, making things on. happen once more. He's waiting, but the Honey Fruit, I think he knows. He, he, he can't really execute him. He doesn't have the charges on the Steel Tempest. He's just to walk away from this as well. Good rotation still. At least he got the mid lane push, and now he's going to rotate down. 
make the decision to go back into mid or at least start up the dragon? No, just gets a charge on the, the Steel Tempest. Yeah, he just wants to, you know, preempt it just in case somebody gets hooked or something like that. But you're just going to pick up that extra goal and start to try to look for the rotate. Now, one thing that we have to say, Keeper has been doing really well is keeping Bichan on that Akali really, really quiet. Oh, uh, hold on. Solo kill coming in. I say solo, oh, it's... Oh, uh, the rip buff, the rip buff. Just backing off. Oh, so Should close. be able to survive here. The rip buff from... No, the rip buff was enough to just <laughs> tickle it up. And that's another kill. The dual lanes from Volley is just doing such a good work. It's that very, very just brutal combo. And now, finally, we see Bichan coming online with that Akali as well. And this is where we see Volley just start to shine. Is that when they know, yep, we have all the advantages and they're just going for fights, individual skirmishes because they know they have the strength. The tidal wave from downtown, knocking in from the support and they're not done. Just two tempers a little bit away. Exhaust onto the ash. Aqua Prison gonna land onto two, but straight away the flash comes out from the ash, but he's nowhere to run. A double kill, but I think the Yasuo, he's not done there. He doesn't need anything. Dung him with the cleanup crew. 9-0, to zero, the kill score for Volley. They are looking really, really good in the playoff stage. They literally turned the switch on and just go hard and get all the kills, clean up the dragon lane, they get the solo kill from the Akali as well. And Team Volley from Vietnam, they came in to play this morning. It looks like they had their coffee, they had their cereal. <laughs> and 9-0, the kill score, five and a half minutes in. This is a massive snowball that cannot be stopped. Talking about coffee, I just want to say, Vietnamese coffee is really, really good. So maybe that's, Might the, be, maybe yeah, that's right? the extra <laughs> the extra boost that they're getting, right? Because their coffee is so good, their caffeine is like, you know, through the roof. So they're just able to pull off this amazing place. Might be a, a good explanation. Not a scientific one, <laughs> but an explanation nonetheless. Oh, a bit sorry. of a skirmishing going on in the Baron. Young has arrived to support his soul laner here. Uh, yeah, you know, we really just need a B-chan camp. Mm -hmm. Like... 100, you know, just have a cam on the top right that just shows the Akali non-stop. Because I'm so intrigued of how he controls this champion. Right? He understands how to weave in and weave out. Using the Twilight Shroud and the 5 point strike to get the resets. So he's so confident, he's never in danger. But he's always putting himself in a good position to kind of capitalize into a kill. Now, Riffero has been picked up while all that was going down. An Enchanted Crystal Arrow into the mid lane. They find the oh, Sonic, Sonic Wave, possibly way. finding the kick. A oh. great combo back in and this Ash is surely dead. They have the Rift Herald mm. and they will pop it and... That should give them mid tier Ooh. one as well. A great sequence of plays coming in from Team Vietnam. The hook sidestepped by Misty. She's smiling on the cam. You can see she's not worried <laughs> at all. And now they will be able to siege down mid tier one. That was a play that Insect himself would have been proud. Beautiful connecting the Max Rage Sonic Wave into the safeguard behind. Gets the Dragon Rage kick out. Opens up the map completely. And Volley now, they can rotate to wherever they want. And it Riff Herald's actually going to get a second charge off, I believe. So this is going to be big value. I'm Song here dashing over to the blue buff. They have to be careful. They're a bit overextended. There are four members here, but oh. Misty's going to flash away after the Flame Chompers keeps them in place. Another solo kill here Ooh. from Bichan. Oh man, Matthew is getting from bad to worse here in the Baron lane. Yeah, off camera, you can see Bichan doing, you know, Akali things, but, oh, I think this is a good little caught out here, the first kill, but looks like they want to go for a little bit more. The last press on to Monsieur, he's going for a little bit of a chase flash, that's going to force up a T26, and now, I think this is just a replay, a triple kill onto the Jinx. Sorry about, about the little bit of changing of the play perspective, but yeah, at the end of the day, Volley came out on top with that team fight. Yeah, you have to remember that although Dang died early, the Lee Sin was the sacrifice all along, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. As long as Misty is in the back, auto-attacking away, she still has her heal, she has the spell van boots and lifesteal boots as well. Like, there's no big cause for concern because Melona and Misty have just been playing out of their minds and supporting oh. each other. And now in the Baron lane, a fight breaking out, perfect execution not available, mm. Bichan is just gonna back off here. He's okay <laughs> forcing the Master E away because he gets space and now he's just smiling on his screen. He's recalling. He's happy. Yeah, if he can say, he's like, oh man, if I had the perfect execution, if I had the ultimate, that would have been my kill. But you know and what? And ladies and gentlemen, all viewers, like, <laughs> direct your attention to the screen every time it changes. All members of Team Volley from Vietnam are just laughing and smiling and having fun. Oh, another one, but he needs to be careful. <laughs> he sees four, he's just like, yep, nope, not, not my one. Rocket grab, just gonna be like, what? Aqua Prison lands on the two, tidal wave to follow things up. Sonic wave, can he get in range? Can he get in range? He's waiting. He gets the last one second, he gets the kill. But now, he wants a little bit more. He sees the master, he's dragon rage, just hidden to his death. And now, they want to go for the dive. Akali... Is he going for the time? No, they're, they're just hiding into the base. They do not want to risk it. Team Volley playing the textbook play, and now they're just going to rotate into this bottom lane. Yeah, they see Prom here trying oh. to recall, and they should be able to just walk him down. 
This is the output to no avail, and that is going to be the kill for the least sin. <laughs> Mid tier 2 is being sieged up. I like how the, the dual laners are like, guys, please play the objectives. And everyone's like, nah, man, we're going for kills. We're just going to die for it. <laughs> but at least they're all grouped up into this mid inhibitor turret. Get some good little damage here. Looks like they're going for the last breath. Ward is a big, big play coming up himself. Is he going to be able to walk out? Yes, he is. Sonic Wave does that, but I don't think it's going to be enough damage. He's 26. Is he going to take it up? No. Nope. He will survive. Goes back to the frosty fight himself. Feeling flashy. Goes for the big play. Didn't really come up with anything there. They are far enough, uh, far ahead enough that they can just look threaten to make these dives happen. Like, they're not actually going to hard commit, right? They're just going to force things out of you so that you try to get out safe. Dragon has been started up right now by Misty Melona as well as Dang, so they should be able to claim this with the smite here. Uh, we just uh, go back and reset. You can see Misty has 2,000 gold in her back pocket, wants to make sure she spends it so she utilizes the itemization. Just wants to clear, make sure that nothing goes wrong. Clearing the way is being very, very safe. 10 minutes in, only one kill to the name of Team Keeper. Things looking a bit dire for the Cambodian representatives right now. At least they're still having fun. You can see the smiles on the face of Hannah here. Uh, she, uh, that's the most important thing, right? You have fun, you enjoy yourselves in this kind of competition, but it looks like Crescent Guard was being used by Prom here. A little bit off camera, not really sure what's happening. Five points, right? Dust land, Bichan on the Akali. Just maintaining that aggression, maintaining the attention of this keeper team. They cannot just neglect her. Meanwhile, at the side of the map, you can see the Yasuo split pushing on that bottom lane. The, the rest farming up the jungle, making sure that they pounce on the opportunity to jump whenever they see one. This is a classic split lane situation, right? Because the Akali is so far hit, she found so many solo kills she can play towards the dragon lane and just push the wave in. And everyone else just groups up and play towards Baron. And you can see the objective has already been started up. Baron Nasher is almost down to half health here coming in. It's, it's so more than half that, It's, like, it's going to be finished. Like, it's super quick. When I looked over, I was like, yep, yeah, it's about half health and now it's done. Yeah, there you go. Baron Nasher does get taken up and they do exactly the same thing that the PC versions wants to do. Empower the minions, and that's gonna be allow them to push by. Oh, this is gonna be the big play! It's gonna be 1v5! Is this gonna be the highlight? Bichan goes into the uh, Zonya's hourglass. He wants to look for a beautiful oh my goodness! Just, he lets all five members, and now the rest of the team is gonna tie the wave into five! That's what you call a team fight! That's what you call teamwork! Sign seal delivered! This is gonna be sent to you tomorrow morning, and that's gonna be an ace for Volley, and they're gonna push down into the base. Yo, that was... Really, really sick. He hit all five members with the second cast of the perfect execution. And Misty just walks <laughs> in. Like, Grata should have could have gotten the penta there. But uh, you got to give some something over to the jungler, right? And it was Yang that, Dang that took two kills there. Stole the penta away. But overall, the team play just so good. You can see he's smiling. He's like, yep, that was a highlight play for sure. Yeah, and they know that that's, that clip is going to be used over and over again. It's going to be I think it's the first time I see such a clean team fight. You know, you can see Bichan using that Akali to delay a little bit. They understand to his this teammate is coming twilight shroud into the hourglass and then bam beautiful tidal wave from the nami delays everything and knocks everyone up and that was some uh, spectacular play 